I was talking to <clears throat> a kid and I was listening carefully. And the kid uh, just said, uh, uh, we're watching um, a video. And uh, the, the video was explaining how to them how to play certain games. And then one, one little girl just uh, got up and came up to me and told me in Chinese, Charlie, when I was <clears throat> when I was older, I used to play this game. I say, oh, you, you, when you were older, you used to play. She said yes, and uh, I just took note, and uh, it is really an indication uh, that children are are still open and. Uh, uh, they have a, a direct connection with uh, uh, the real side and uh, they can tap into their past lives, speak directly from their past lives at times. While we adults, uh, we, we are, we are holed up in our conscious minds and uh, um, uh, let me say blocked, we have lost access to uh, uh, to the to the to the real un universes. Uh, William Blake called the what I'm talking about the loss of loss of innocence. Uh, we have lost our innocence, and then uh, uh, I want to ask: uh, uh, Can one, let's say? being physically innocent tap into uh, the real universes well everybody does it's just recognizing it's a matter of recognizing it it's not a matter that you can or can't uh actually we're all standing there right now because it's an isness it's all a completeness so it's not about can or can, it's simply recognizing it. That's all. It's that simple. And so, you know, each person demonstrates how they recognize that in their own particular way, or if they want to, or utilize that, etc. So, you know, you might say that people that are really good and have good intentions, and it's, it's with your intent, that yes, they are, you can say, tapped into that, okay? They are utilizing that. But they don't recognize, they may not recognize that uh, it is a reality that they can reside in, you see, because again, they have bodies, and especially their physical body, so they just think of themselves and others see them as a good person, but they don't see beyond that, it's the seeing and their intent, so they can be there and this is where people that even people that can see psychics and whatever they can see oh well you you have light around you and you're a good person but it doesn't mean they can see and recognize the real universes that becomes different so again because there's many positions of light and especially in creation and the real universes and there's that recognition there so uh it's like it's we're all going to to, through the school of life, you might say, okay, on the big scale. Here we go through these created schools in creation, but the school of life is on, and as we pay attention, now we have better reference material to more so pay attention, you see? So, yes, I get the innocence idea and all these things, and yes, they are cute, and they're, they're workable, but again, the individual de will demonstrate that. Well, you know, the birds demonstrate that too. You know, they demonstrate that reality, the reality life is, as an example. The sun demonstrates it. That's why I use the sun. But does the sun recognize what it's demonstrating? That becomes the difference. See, that activates the real awareness of the individual. It will just call it that. You need to have that activation to recognize the whole of life. But people can, uh, you know, unconsciously uh, be 
be utilizing that reality. You see? So uh, again, it's it's a little bit of this and that, but again, it's that's the becoming more aware. Yes, children have it. That's why Ava and I, we pick these images with children. Uh, I love the children because there is that innocence there. There's that purity, etc. It's demonstrated for those that can see it. This is why people love children. This is why many people love animals and whatever, because of the innocence. But it doesn't mean they recognize the reality, the real awareness, and its relationship to the whole of life. You see? You see the difference? And But they have to decide to do that. And so that's what we're presenting, so that they have the possibility so they can supersede all the effects. So even though the child has that innocence, even though the adult has it, they are still basically the unconscious effects of everything around them, aren't they? Yeah, dear. Yeah, they are. You see, there becomes the subtle difference. And people can say, well, oh, I'm aware. Okay, fine. You know, I'm not going to debate that or I'm not going to say, no, you're not. Well, of course they are. They're aware of their situation, and they're good people. It's like, well, I'm a good person. Well, that's great. So, again, you fit into society, and that person will continue to create a future, which they do. Most people do. They're chasing their future. They have ideas. They want to do this or that. And it's not about not doing that, but it's how you create that future. And that future, those ideas take you into future lifetimes. And so they will stay there, and they can be good people, Hey. You know, for lifetimes and lifetimes, but they will still just stay unconscious. They will go through the process. They will just grow old because they didn't take the time to recognize their real awareness. You see, maybe they are religious and it's like, well, I'm a good person. So my soul will be saved again. The soul idea is just that it's just an idea. So they hang on to this idea <clears throat> like belief thinking that when they pass to the other side, well, they will go somewhere. Maybe they'll go to a nice place and they'll think, oh, gee, I'm in heaven. But it'll just be the astral worlds or the mental worlds. doesn't matter. It'll be somewhere in creation because that was their idea of it. I suggest people to see what dreams may come with Robin Williams. That's, uh, that's a good idea. And I suggest many movies to see. Uh, another one is Forbidden Planet in the 50s. Shows you how the subconscious works with the aliens, etc. It's very good demonstration. And many, many others. And uh, the day the earth stood still because it's a warning that people still aren't heeding, etc. So there's, there's, the movies are very good objective ideas. But uh, yeah, that's all workable. And yeah, there are good people in the world. Okay. And what are these good people doing, Charles? Let's, let's take the best people in the world. What are they doing? I'm sure they have a good lifestyle. I'm sure they have good jobs. I'm sure they drive their polluting cars around. And they're agreeable to the system because they don't want to make waves. So unconsciously, these good people are adding to the demise of the planet and creation. Does that make sense? Not at all. Not at all. That's why we're here. So that's the challenge. And the bad boys that run this world and creation, etc., and the Calum God, they really don't like us because they like the control. And we're showing people how to uh, free themselves from restrictions and authorities that you don't need authorities. But again, many people have the fear of God in them. So they figure that, gee, if I, if I, uh, you know, if I leave God, okay, that's not going to be good. Because <laughs> yeah. they're afraid. You see, you got to be a risk taker. Okay. You see? 